Hello, in today's video I want to demonstrate how to create end-to-end -end test using Cypress for Angular application. Cypress is a powerful end-to-end -end testing framework for web application that offers robust sets of features for testing and automating web interactions. I use Cypress because it provides straightforward way to implement tests seamless integration capabilities and comprehensive browser support so let's get started this is my home page created using angular framework so before deploying any changes or new version i need to make sure that all links are functional so let me show you how to do that so this is my angular application it consists of many pages and component and the basic test involves verifying the pages accessibility and ensuring that all links are functional this is easy to achieve using cypress i guess you have the node package manager installed so all you need to do is first let me show you how to install it so this is the main folder of my project homepage. So to install Cypress, all you need to do is to run this command using npm install Cypress. It will be used only for dev. So let's install it. As you see, installation is done. So you need also to install Karma Jasmine. Also only for dev. It is also done and at the end you need to to install the webpack preprocessor for the browser and you run this command so cypress is now installed for our project all we need to do is to run this command npx cypress open this will open this page cypress first time you need to configure whether you want e2e testing or component testing in my case i already configured this one e2e testing and you can choose which browser you want to use for testing it is not necessarily that you open you can run the test silently so let me show you first so here you can define a new spec and and so on i created one so when you configure the cypress test the files will be created here in your projects and under this folder cypress e2e so let's have a look on my test so as already said the test do basic things it just make sure that my page is accessible as you see here that my page is accessible so you can let's run the test here so you can run the test and as you see i will explain you later on so the test i define it mini so i am checking all links that are working and at the end so how to define this test so you can use javascript to do that and here in describe this is a test suite so you can this describe contains test suite i define it's my so this is the url i'm checking so for before deploying you you need to use lo, your local you, you can integrate this script in your ci cd pipelines and you can also check the productive url like in this case here and what it does it accepts this this lambda expression so this is a dsl and there is one object named ci so and it has one method visit so this one will just verify that the link is working so this one after that because on my page i have several urls i check that all these urls are available and working and this is by so i'm checking this one quits page i simulate click here as you see here i check whether the html contains this tag and after that i simulate click and i see that the url contains this word here i do for all links in my first page after that i define a function this is javascript well it accepts two parameter a link and you can customize to your uh, need but basically it works like this again you define find test suit here i visit the url and i check whether the page contains uh, some urls and i am simulating a click and check that everything works so as you see it is pretty simple straightforward i hope you find this useful thanks for watching and bye